Hi, it's Jamel Cornley, uh, Penn State basketball show right now. I'm at the hub, where the little central point where everybody walks through, hangs out and everything. And it's around lunchtime right now, but I'm about to head to yeah. my RPT team 210 class at 125. See you there. America land of basketball. Like, I want to play at the highest level where I can play. Well, that was the first reason. The second reason was uh, it had a film major. So that's what I want to do. Theater class, I have a performance to make. It's a four minute auto drama. I'm back to defense. I was pumped up. Let's do this! <laughs> I look both sides of me. I see Dirk Nowitzki, and I see Dirk Nowitzki on <laughs> each side. Another one said to me, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> another one said to me, Spice the Washington. I don't even know. Penn State academically is one of the best schools in the country. Uh, at the same time, it's Big Ten, so you don't get any better basketball than this. Coaching staff and the, and the teams were just, and the players were just very down to earth, and, and um, I felt very comfortable coming here. Growing up, I was just very into basketball. I mean, I watched Michael Jordan, of course, Magic Johnson, and um, all, the, all the other famous and all-star players. But I was a very fun kid. I used to do anything, uh, skate, um, play football, all, all types of things. So a regular kid, but at the same time, um, as, as I started growing up, I got deeper and deeper into basketball. I started AAU very, very early, and um, I, I haven't looked back. Usually, my mom comes and my little brother comes, as well as my grandparents come. My mom, she, she always reiterates how proud she is of me. She's one of those parents who really could care less if I play basketball or not, but really cared about my, my academics first. So she's very, um, very supportive. She's been with me since day one, has took me to all across the world to AAU tournaments and uh, just been my number one fan. They're above average students, very uh, dedicated. They're, I think when you want to play uh, athletics at a Division One school, you, you have to be somewhat disciplined. So these kids typically, they're, they're more disciplined than the average student. And they're more likely to attend class. They're more likely to do better on their tests and their papers and on time. The coaches that understand what university is all about. Athletics is one part of it, but these kids are here to get an education. Pretty much just the, the student-athlete ratio as far as how many people graduate here. I, mean, I think it's close to 90%, if not 90. But um, I think that's great to see how um, the coaches as well as the academic advisors really stress the academic side. I think that with that, the sky's the limit to some people's success if it's not in a professional sport or in, end up in the um, work field. And I think the academic advisors, especially mine, Sandy, Sandy Meyer, and she, she's a mother uh, as far as when it comes to the academics, and she helps us so much, it, it's, it's great. The organization does not have to make it fun. The people here make it fun. I think, I think it's a very family-oriented college, and, and I think that's what, part of the reason why they call it Happy Valley. I think that the support here outside of uh, the, this gym and academic buildings is very complimentary, so it's great. By not making a profit, it means it does not enrich owners or shareholders. It's not out there to make money to make people rich. Um, however, 